Tens of thousands of tourists and Christian pilgrims pack the West Bank town of Bethlehem for Christmas Eve celebrations on Saturday, bringing warm holiday cheer to the traditional birthplace of Jesus on a raw, breezy, and rainy night. With turnout at its highest in more than a decade, proud Palestinian officials said that they were praying the celebrations would bring them closer to their dream of independence. By late night, the Israeli military, which controls movement in and out of the town, said that some 100,000 visitors, including foreigners, and Arab Christians from Israel had reached Bethlehem, up from 70,000 the previous year. On Sunday morning, Pope Benedict XVI called for the resumption of peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians in a special Christmas message. A deputy says Gaza's prime minister is leaving on his first official trip outside the territory since the militant Hamas movement overran the coastal strip in June 2007. Prime Minister Ismail Haniye, Deputy Mohammed Awad, said on Sunday the Gaza leader will visit Egypt, Sudan, Qatar, Bahrain, Tunisia, and Turkey, all the countries that have been affected by the upheavals sweeping the Arab world. Awad says Haniye's objective is to discuss development projects, and Haniye has has been confined to Gaza, in part because of tensions with Egypt. But Egypt's new rulers have warmed up to Hamas since longtime president Hosni Mubarak was toppled in February. Israeli medical researchers say they have developed a new technique for blasting cancer tumors from the inside out, which reduces the risk of the disease returning after treatment. Tel Aviv University professors Yona Kassari and Yitzhak Kelson are about to start clinical trials of a pin-sized radioactive implant that beams short-range alpha radiation from within the tumor. The university said that the process takes about 10 days and leaves behind only non-radioactive and non-toxic amounts of lead. Israel has pledged to release about 1 billion cubic feet of water to restore the biblical Jordan River. Israel, Syria, and Jordan have diverted nearly all of the river's fresh water, and the trickle that remains is mostly raw sewage. Last year, Israel began building a $106 million complex to remove the sewage water and treat it for agricultural use, but that would have left the river dry. In a statement, Environment Minister Gilad Erdan promised to start replacing the sewage with clean water in 2013, saying that it will allow life to return to the Jordan River. Environmentalist Gideon Bromberg said that the promised amount is less than a tenth of what is needed to fully restore the river. eBay, which operates the world's biggest online marketplace, is looking into the possibility of launching a Hebrew website. Company executives are expected to visit Israel in the near future to examine the issue. According to sources, eBay has been looking for a building in Israel for some time. A third technology giant planning to build a development center in Israel, according to recent reports, is Apple.